it's now time to check the fit of the tunnel in the newly cut holes. Before we start cutting the tunnel to the desired length, there are a few factors we need to consider. A conventional installation will provide a drag on the back face of the tunnel, as this becomes a flat area facing the water flow, which can cause a lot of noise and splashing. This is not a good solution for sailboats or fast motorboats. We have two good alternatives that will reduce this problem considerably. One solution is to make a recess in the hull at the back of the tunnel. Therefore, back face and most of the drag is removed. The other solution is to make a deflector or spoiler in front of the tunnel. This is the most practical for retrofitting boats. This will push the water flow out from the hull and bypass the back face of the tunnel. As a general rule, you should not see the back face of the tunnel when standing directly in front of the tunnel at the angle of the boat's centerline. In our case, we have chosen to make a spoiler to reduce the back drag. Therefore, we will cut the tunnel, leaving a part of the tunnel sticking out in the lower forward area of the hole, and will use this as a support to mold a soft curve spoiler shape. Cut the tunnel according to the markings. Lightly sand the tunnel before casting to remove possible irregularity. Make sure to clean any areas where you are going to apply fiberglass with acetone before casting.